Good morning. This practice is a practice for arriving, for uh, getting grounded and centered, maybe in a new place, uh, maybe when you have uh, problems or worries or anxiety that is uprooting you. So it's a real practice of, of, of letting go and internalizing and arriving. Um, I'm doing this practice for a friend who has to travel this week. Um, not a nice trip, a, a, a trip that is uh, worrying and there'll be some anxiety. So this is hopefully to, to help her arrive in, in this new place. Uh, so we're going to start by uh, sitting for a moment or two and just noticing where we are as we arrive in our, in our practice. So we take the first inhale, the first conscious breath of our practice. And we exhale slowly. And just allow the breath to come and go for a moment or two. And start to tune in to your breathing. And we just notice where we're beginning from. And how we feel right now. And when you feel ready, you can close your eyes. Simply closing your eyes will help you to turn inward, to let go of some of your distractions. Some of your worries. You can sigh the breath away if it helps. It's long. Slow, exhale through the mouth. you feel ready, you bring your hands in front of your heart here. And just acknowledge that you are beginning your, your practice. You can connect your head to your heart, set any intentions that you might like to make. And then when you're ready, you can just bring yourself over and into a semi-supine position. So we're just coming to lay on our backs. If you want a little bit of padding underneath the, the back of your head, you can take a blanket, make the posture uh, comfortable. And then just take a few breaths here. Feel that with each exhale you release your, your body, you feel the weight drop, you feel the, the stress and the tension is beginning to fall away. And again you can sigh. Try and feel here that you breathe into your, your front, so you feel the expansion into your, your belly, into your ribs maybe. But feel that you exhale, that you breathe out through your back. 
so that as you exhale, you rinse away your, your tension, you let go of some of the stress, some of the worry. And then when you feel ready, just start to feel into your, your feet. Let your, your feet open, your toes spread out and press gently down into your feet and allow the energy to rise so that your hips float away from the, the floor. Make sure you're not bringing tension or stress so you're not tensing your, your shoulders, you're keeping your neck nice and easy. You're not overly gripping behind your hips, you're not overly working with your, your glutes or your, your buttocks muscles, but you're just feeding the energy down and allowing it to, to rebound. So the hips lift. And we don't need to go too far here, we just want to feel that we hover slightly away from the earth. Focus on, as you exhale, letting go of any tension that's accumulating right here in your, in your hip extensor, so behind your hips. Try not to let your knees fall out to the side. So be sure that you're not letting the weight fall to the outer edges of your feet, but keep the big toes and the big toe roots plugged in. And we don't need to go high. We're not looking for a, a big back bend or an impressive Setu Bandhasana. We're just looking for this sensation of, of rising, of floating, of uh, effortlessness, if you can. You take a breath or two here. You can have your arms wherever you're comfortable. You can be here on your body, connecting to your breath. You can have your arms just soft at your sides. We could... If your shoulders easily allow you to, you could take them up and over your, your head. And we just take, again, long inhale. And a long exhale. And even here, feel that you're, you're breathing into your front. So the front is uh, spacious as you inhale. But that as you exhale, you're just rinsing away tension from, from your back. As if you're breathing out through the, through the back body, through the posterior part of the lungs. And then when it feels like enough, bring the arms down slowly if you have the arms up and over your head. And then just start to, to drop down a vertebra at a time. So through your upper back first. Through your middle back. And your lower back. And your sacrum releases down. And you feel the weight of your pelvis. So here, there's this real sensation of releasing and grounding. You feel uh, heavy in your, your sacrum. You feel the weight of your pelvis as if you're being suctioned into the earth. It's a, a real uh, feeling of, of grounding, releasing, as if you're imprinting on your yoga mat. So observe those sensations for a moment. Take another breath here, a, a long inhale again. And a long exhale. Good. When you feel ready, you can bring your right leg into recline pigeon pose. So it's right ankle to your right thigh, sorry, to your left thigh, and you're opening your right hip here. 
So you're just letting the right knee gently move away from you. You're opening in your hip. Now, there are lots of variations of this posture. You can keep it here, this is fine. You can bring it in towards you and bind your hands around the back of your left leg. Your right hand, in this case, threads through the gap in between your, your legs. Or um, in the, the wall supported practice, we uh, talked about a version of this posture where your left foot will be on a wall so that you then can release your arms down. You don't need to bring any tension into your, your shoulders or your biceps. So any of these versions is absolutely fine. Make sure that it feels okay for you. You might want to rock a little bit. Just feel that you, you really settle the posture down into the yoga mat. Make sure the back of your neck is long. You can relax this left foot. Keep a little bit of dorsiflexion in the right foot and take the breath all the way down towards your, your pelvic space as if you're opening into your hips. You feel Sorry, you feel some softening each time you exhale. Let the shoulders soften. You feel release around the, the outer right hip, lateral part of the hip. And then release the, the left foot to the floor and just take this right leg and let it release all the way over your left. So there's no space here in between your, your thighs. And you bring the legs back in, again, if it feels okay for you. And you can come around the, the back of your left leg or around the front of your left shin. It's really helpful here if rather than bringing your left arm over this right shin, you thread underneath the, the right calf, you'll maybe see that more easily from the, from the other side. You draw down your shoulders, neck nice and long, ease out your neck if you need to, you can roll the head a little bit, you can rock again, feel that you just settle, sink into the posture and then close your eyes. When we turn inward, we, we watch the, the breath, Really long inhale, all the way down again into the, the deep body space, the pelvic space. Just a breath or two here. Releasing your left foot to the floor and bringing your right leg in towards you. If you need to just ease out before you take the, the next posture, that's fine. Uh, right leg comes in, so the knee is over the chest. And then the right shin perpendicular to the, the floor. Um, holding the, the back of your right leg, your calf, your ankle, or... Your foot, you can use a, a belt here if you prefer over your, your foot so that you're not uprooting your, your shoulder. And we breathe here. Long inhale. And long exhale. Again, when you're ready, the eyes are just softly closing. So when the eyes are closed, we're we're removing some of the, the sensory stimulation and some of the distraction. Turning inward. 
this is um, this is pratyahara. It's withdrawing your senses, internalization. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, but that's Azarika. He's, uh, he's just got off his bed. <laughs> And the soft snoring that you might be hearing, that, that's Benjamin's out there as well. <laughs> so you take a, another, another breath here. Long inhale. And long exhale. When it feels like enough, you can release the right foot to the floor and take moments here again just to notice how you feel. You'll maybe feel that your, your right side has, has dropped a little bit, has released, is lower than your, your left side. So we're aware of this feeling, this sensation of being grounded through the right side. We'll move this over and into a spinal twist. So opening the right side first, you'll move your hips over to the right and your knees over to the left. Make sure that you're in a good place for you. Keep the, the back of your neck nice and long. Use support so you can put blocks or blankets underneath your legs if the twist feels intense. And then the right arm opens up. Now, you can come low with this arm or you can take it up high and alongside your ear. You want to make sure that you're not lifting this shoulder away from the floor, okay? So if, um, if this is happening, then take the arm lower so that it can, can drop down. I think in this, um, in this practice about keeping all of the the foundation, the, the parts of the body that are, are touching the floor, really rooted so that you, you have this connection to, to earth energy, so that you can release the tension and the stress away um, through the body and into the, the ground. And just breathe here in your, in your twist, long inhale. And long exhale. And ease out the neck, soften the eyes, try and let some of the, the strain go from the, from the forehead or the skin around the eyes, some of the tension from the, the jaw or around the mouth. And then when you are ready, you can bring yourself just slowly back and to the center. Um, this sequence of, of postures, four postures to the, the right, and then the same four postures will do to the left. You could do these postures much more slowly uh, should you want to. So you feel maybe those sensations of releasing a little more um, clearly. So the left side, uh, left ankle to the right thigh with dorsiflexion in your left foot. Let the left knee move away from you. So the first variation is here, and this is fine. Try and keep both sides of the waist the same length. Bring the legs in towards you if that variation feels okay for you. You can use the, the right foot on a, a wall variation. You could bring a belt or a strap around behind your right leg. Settle in, or you can bind around the leg if that feels okay. You drop down your shoulders. Relax your right foot. Just check that you're not tipping over to the left. Try and center so the weight's even in both shoulder blades, both halves of your, your pelvis. 
and then breathe. The eyes soften. should feel a subtle expansion all the way down towards your hips and pelvis when you inhale. And releasing your, your tension as you exhale. The right foot comes to the floor and you drop the left leg over the right. In your own time, you bring the legs in, you thread around the back of the right leg or the front of the right shin. And, and here you can see more clearly my right arm underneath my left calf rather than coming around the top here because it tends to pull that shoulder up. So underneath, you draw the legs in. Send the breath all the way down. Those of you that, that practice with me will be familiar, I think, with this sequence of postures. A really nice sequence just for gently releasing tension from the, the hips and the back. You're in time again. You put the right foot on the floor, you bring the left leg in. You might want to move around a little bit, release some of the pressure from the, the front of the hip, from the hip flexors. And then just coming into a half stirrup pose when you feel ready. So you're holding the, the back of the thigh, maybe the calf. You can use a belt around your foot or you can reach the, the hand up and take hold of the foot. Be sure that you're not uprooting your left shoulder. Long inhales. And long exhales. When you feel ready, you release your left foot to the floor. And again, just noticing how the body feels, how we feel more uh, deeply connected to the, the ground. It's as if you form, when you release your tension, you, you form a, a pathway through which you can release into the ground. And we feel that very clearly each time we exhale. Moving the hips over to the left and the knees to the right. And coming into a basic spinal twist. So shrug the right shoulder out from underneath you 
uh, support your legs. You can use uh, cushions or blocks or blankets. Open the left arm up. So here, if, if we hover or if the shoulder is away from the floor, this is when we use some support just here underneath our legs. If you drop down into it and it's comfortable, you're not feeling stress or strain, you're not striving, then maybe we don't need to use the, the support. Make sure that your, your neck is easy so you can turn your head and face the direction that your knees are facing. Or you can bring your head to the center. I'd maybe advise against turning your head to the left for most of us. That's going to bring some stress into the, the neck. And just breathing into the, the tight spots, into the limitations. And feeling again that the tension rinses from your, your body. But for, for this time, for the duration of your practice, you can maybe let go of your worries. And allow your mind to rest quietly. Just watching your breath. And we're ready. We'll bring the legs back to the center. We'll move the hips back onto the midline. Make any adjustment that you need to make. And then bring your knees in towards you. So you come into Apanasana and it's a, a gentle hug inwards. You'll feel clearly that you're able to release the legs in towards you as you exhale. And they might move away a little bit on your inhale. When you're ready, you come up to sitting. And just take yourself back to uh, where you began. So a, a basic seated posture. You can, again, use some support. And take a, a few moments here. Just notice how you feel again. Sometimes we feel clearly that the energy has shifted. And we feel maybe a, a more grounded. You can elongate your breath by very gently narrowing the airway, just a, a subtle tension around the, the throat. So the inhale is, is longer. And the exhale, maybe even slightly longer than your inhale. And we just feel that with each exhale, we're putting down our roots. We're allowing ourselves to arrive in this new place, or this new situation.
and you feel that you are calm and centered, you can transition over and onto your hands and knees. So just a very simple tabletop pose, nice smooth transition. And you find your foundation now in your hands and in your toes. And then as we exhale, we flex the, the spine. So just gently drawing your tail under, really rounding your back, feeling the low back and then the middle back and then the upper back open and the head bows down. We look in towards the center and we feel that lovely flexion through the spine, that stretch through the, the posterior side. And then you move slowly in the other direction. So you don't have to limit yourself to any particular breathing pattern here. Just keep breathing slowly and evenly. Feel the way the inhalation affects the, the posture, the way your, your body responds to the exhalation. Ease out there, the tight spots, especially if you have been uh, traveling, if you've been stuck in a a car or on a train or a plane. Easing out the neck. Really drawing your tail under and scooping the, the, the abdomen, uh, the navel in and up towards your, your spine. And staying long enough in each phase to really explore, to really feel and maybe release your, your tight spots. Move around a little bit, tease out your tensions. And you can do as many cycles of this as you feel. You could. You could speed up just a little bit if you want to, but be really sure that you're not hurrying. Be really sure that you're not striving. Uh, both of those tendencies, the tendency to hurry, the tendency to, to, to force or strive, they'll, they'll both uproot you. They'll both undo some of that good work that, uh, that you did in those first few postures. When you feel that you're ready from your next extension, just sink back into child. So you take the, the butt back towards the heels and nestle in a little bit, reach the arms forward, create length and space through both sides of your body, through the back of your waist, drop your head down to the floor and breathe here. Take a long inhale. Feel the, the back body, the back ribs and into the side body really open as you inhale. And as you exhale again, that feeling that you're, you're softening, that you're letting go, that you're giving all of your, your stress and your tension, your fear and your worry, you're giving it to the ground. Take one more breath there in your child's pose. Make sure that the, the forehead is, is resting, supported by the, the ground. If not the ground, maybe, maybe you stack your hands and support your head, or you use a blanket or a block. But when the head is supported, maybe you can let go of the, the tension from your neck. And then from your child's pose, coming up very slowly and feeling the foundation again, so spreading out the fingers. This is really important, this connection to the ground through whatever part of you is, um, is touching ground in any posture. So in this case, it's gonna be your hands and your feet. You're coming into downward facing dog, but come into the posture as effortlessly, as slowly and as sensitively as you can. So you feel the roots, you exhale down into the roots and from there you rise. Just nice and slow. We don't have to straighten the legs. We don't want to lock the elbows. Keep the posture soft. Try and let the head hang. 
and you do whatever you need to do here just to find yourself in the posture so maybe paddle the, the feet a little bit nice and slow you might want to stretch up onto your toes maybe squat your dog a little bit just close your eyes and go with what feels good for you explore the posture a little bit feel where the body is is tight or blocked each exhale takes you a little deeper into the foundation you stay in your your dog for as long as you feel good as long as you're not feeling stress or strain and then very very slowly you walk your feet towards your hands you come into Uttanasana. Now start real easy. So lean your forearms on your thighs. Rest your hands together. Let your head drop. Knees out your neck. You can sigh the breath again. Try and feel that you really release the weight of the head so you're letting go of the tension in your, your neck and around the, the base of your, your skull. If and when it feels good, you can go further, deeper into your forward fold. You can maybe shrug your, your shoulders, swish the head a little bit, sigh away. If there is stress or strain, you back away. Just a little bit, support it again. If it feels okay, you just keep on letting go and releasing. A lot of us will be holding the shoulders. Try and let the shoulders and the shoulder blades drop. And you feel yourself breathing space into your back. Releasing away each time you exhale. And maybe one more breath. Good. Stay for it as long as it feels good when you're ready. Turn the toes out a few degrees and drop down into Malasana. Now, if this is a posture that you need to support, you can use blocks under your heels or a pile of blocks, two or three blocks underneath your sit bones. So you take the stress out of your knees. And we just allow ourselves to be here for a few breaths. Again, we can just lower the head a little bit, close the eyes, turning inward. You regulate your breathing here. For at least one more breath. Of course, if you would like to stay for longer in this posture, you can. It's really releasing across the, the back of the, the pelvis into your lower back. The transition from here is onto our seat. Use the hands to help you if you need to. We come all the way down, bring the soles of the feet together. You might like to use some padding here for your, for your feet. Uh, for some of us, maybe a, a block just under the back of the pelvis to assist the, the forward tilt of the pelvis. And we're coming into a butterfly pose. So take your time, a little 
wiggle and reach the, the sit bones back as you reach your, your heart forward. Let the head relax down. Usually you'll find just to, to lift again and, and lengthen to draw forward and then to go back into your, your fold is, is helpful. And you can use support here. You can use a, a cushion or a bolster to support your head if you feel that that would be helpful. And you're going to stay in the, the posture for a few breaths. I'm just going to come up so you can hear me without it sounding too, uh, too muffled. So keep your head dropped, your neck relaxing, and really focus on breathing into the, the back space. So feel the, the back ribs and into the side body. Feel that opening, that expansion, like your ribs are really spreading on your inhale. And you feel slightly buoyant on the inhale as if the breath just lifts you slightly out of your posture. So then in turn, your exhale drops you back down and, and into the, the posture a little bit more. So for each cycle of breath, there's this fluctuation, this slight lift on the inhale, this dropping as you exhale. And, and gradually the drop becomes uh, deeper. You find more, more release, more depth in your pose. And just take another breath or two here, or as long as you feel you would like to stay. When you are ready to come up, you just restack your, your spine slowly. You can use the hands to help you so that you're not bringing any stress or strain. You notice how you feel. And then when you're ready, you bring yourself over and onto your back again. So you can use some padding for the head. You might want to use a scarf or a, a belt for this next posture. <clears throat> we come all the way down and into a very easy version of Supta Padangustasana. So the right leg is up and straight. You can hold, you can hold the, the back of the leg or the calf, or you can bring a belt around your, your foot here support the posture this way. Some of you will be able to catch your, your foot or your toe with your hand, but be really careful that you're not unplugging, uprooting here in your, your shoulder. And it's just an easy, easy, easy hamstring release. So be sure here that you're not forcing or striving. If this is an easy posture for you, you could drop down the left leg as well. Take a, another two or three breaths here. Take one more, one more breath. You might want to run your, your left hand over the, the back of the, the right leg. You can kind of feel those, those little tangles, those little knots. Maybe you can tease them out a little bit. 
to release, we'll bend the left leg and put the sole of the left foot on the floor. We're going to keep the right leg straight, but take the belt away. We're going to close the eyes and lower the right leg very slowly. So you're taking three or four breaths at least to lower this right leg. Now keep it straight. Then lower it slowly. So at this point, you're maybe a quarter or a third of the way down. The leg is still straight. As you come lower, of course, it gets a little more challenging. You feel the work in your, your hip flexors, in your, your front thigh, but keep it nice and slow. About halfway down. And three quarters. Be aware of when you expect your leg to uh, come back onto the floor. And usually we find <laughs> that the floor is just a little bit further away than we expect. When the leg is all the way down, take a moment and just let that whole right leg go and relax, soften. And then repeat the posture to the other side. So you bend the, the right leg, you extend up your left leg. There's no rush here. If you're still lowering, really take your time because the sensations there are just great. That feeling that the floor is just so much further away than, than we expect. Uh, the left leg is up, you can uh, take the posture in your own way, so you can hold the leg, you can hold the toe, you can use your, your belt around your, your foot again. We stay and we take a few breaths here. You can straighten the right leg down, providing that doesn't cause any stress or strain. And we take a few breaths, just releasing the back of this left leg. You can close your eyes, again turning the attention inward. Letting go of your thoughts, your worries. Feeling that the exhalations really unravel the, the tensions in the back of your leg. Mm. We take another breath or two. And when you feel ready, you can slowly lower down your left leg. Remember to bend your right leg first. Release your left leg without bending the left leg and then lower down very slowly the straight leg. So close the eyes again. Feel for what is about a quarter of the way down. And then about half way down. and three quarters. Be aware of when you feel that you are almost to the floor and maybe just take a pause there, an inch above the floor. And then slowly release what is the rest of the way down. 
and you let that left leg go, let the foot relax, let the muscles drop away from the bones. Long inhale. And long exhale. Good. You can uh, bend both legs. You might want to hug in towards you again. Just wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a hug. Maybe rock. Just a, a little side to side. Soothe out any tension. We'll take a, a moment or two in uh, Baddha Konasana before we come into our relaxation. So this is with hips open. Now, if you have a, a bolster or pillows, you might like to uh, use uh, some support here to help you open your heart. If you have blocks, you could certainly use your blocks to help you support your legs. Or of course, you can use whatever you have to hand. So you could use um, cushions or <clears throat> blankets or pillows. The bolster comes nice and close to your, to your sacrum and you come all the way over. If you don't have these props, it's fine. You can just take a basic, basic Kabbalah Kanasana. So soles of feet together, knees drop out to the side. Take as much support as you can, as much support as you have, so that you feel that your body is held and you're supported. You can spread your arms out wide to your sides and breathe into your heart space. So certainly when we are afraid, uh, when we're feeling fearful, um, we tend to wrap the shoulders around us, so we close the, the heart space and the chest. Uh, the same when we feel angry or hurt, we, we close this space. So just allowing the space to open here across your, your chest, across your collarbones, around your heart. Taking a few really nice long breaths here. We feel again that we're breathing space into the, the front body and we're releasing away as if we're breathing out through the back. We allow the, the shoulder blades to wrap around the, the bolster if you're using one. If you're not using a bolster, if you're, you're on the floor here, just let the shoulders drop down with each exhale so you'll still feel this widening across your, your collarbones, this opening in your chest. When it feels like enough opening in your hips, you can gently slide your, your legs away. Try not to lift the leg, but just slide the legs out so that you come into your, your Shavasana. You could use the, the blocks or support underneath the backs of your thighs. Sometimes that helps us to feel nice and easy in the lower back. And for these last few breaths of your, your practice, feeling the body open around the inhalation. Feeling yourself soften and, and let go. You're feeling yourself release each time you exhale.
Now, of course, you can stay here for as long as you like to stay. You can stay in your shavasana for 10 or 15 minutes or longer if, um, if that's what you need to do. When you feel ready, you can take a, a stretch, just a, a deep inhale. Really stretch down through the length of your legs, stretch out through your arms. Be sure that you don't rush yourself here. You, you don't want to uproot yourself. You want to keep this, this grounded feeling. You can roll over, so you can come off your, your bolster or roll over if you're on the floor and onto one side and just give yourself a moment or two there to notice how you feel. Sometimes when we are feeling uh, very tense or, or very, very anxious, um, the, the emotional release, the, the let go here can feel quite powerful. So you, you maybe give yourself a few moments just to assess how you feel. And then you bring yourself slowly back up to sitting. And we just take a, another moment or two, um, sitting quietly, a seat that's comfortable for us. So any cross-legged, any kneeling. And again, we just notice how we feel. So notice the, the body, <clears throat> the body might feel a little different, maybe more spacious, more, more grounded. But this practice is, is more for our, our hearts and minds. So notice how your heart feels, notice how your mind is. You have a little quiet space now. Again, you can sit. You can sit for as long as you would like to, or as long as you need to. When you feel that you're ready to close your, your practice, you can bring your hands in front of your heart. We offer up our, our gratitude for our quiet time. And we take a bow forward. Namaste. Thank you.